Heidi, Heidi, ho. It's Towface. How you doing? I'm Towface. What's up? I can't see. I can't see my words. Oh no. I'm blind. Oh no. <laughs> Monadic name Kent. And this is recovery. From Abbas Treatment Center. Help us here if you are struggling or have issues or problems. We are here. You can find us on Facebook. Oh boy. Sponsy, you know who you are. Why have you not done this yet? Gratitude. I suggest very early in recovery you do this. It's a gratitude list. Very simple. You just put down what you're happy for, what you're thankful for. It's in the basic text, page 106. This is what it says. Hopeless living problems have become jealously changed and joyously changed. Our disease has been arrested and now anything is possible. The NA program has given us freedom than we ever dreamed possible. Sometimes through our daily routine we lose track of how much we have been given. How exactly have our lives changed in Narcotics Anonymous? The bottom line of recovery, of course, is freedom from compulsive use. No longer must we devote all our resources to feeding our addiction. No longer must we endure humility or abuse ourselves or others. Just the net fix, abstinence itself, has brought great freedom in our lives. <coughs> I've gone through some hellish times in the past couple of months, but I never lost my serenity. Because I have a firm foundation in a God who I choose to call Elohim. And when I'm in issues and problems, I can always rely on Him to be there through the good times, through the hard times, and through the trials and tribulations, too, he's always there. Lost my page, lost my thought. Old age, that's what I'll blame it on. All right, let's start here. Our home group has given us the personal warmth and support that helps us continue living in recovery. And topping off this off, we have love, care, and guidance from God we've come to understand in NA. In the course of day-to-day -day recovery, we sometimes forget how much our lives have changed in Narcotics Anonymous. Don't we fully appreciate what our program has given us? Just for today. 
recovery has given me freedom. I will break the day with hope, grateful that anything is possible today. Nothing is impossible. We're going to finish up the traditions today. Seven to twelve. Then we're going to look at how we break down those traditions. Um, I didn't know I was going to do this, so um, let me just pause for a minute and grab that book so I can show you. Okay, I'm back. This is what you want. Works how and why. <coughs> this book covers the traditions and the steps. We're going to be going through it chapter by chapter in the next set of a couple of weeks. So, as requested by my sponsee, he wants to understand the traditions. But that's the book you need to get if you want to follow along with me, is the how and why. So, every NA group ought to be fully self-supporting to guide declining outside contributions. In other words, it can't be supported by an outside organization. It has to be through Narcotics Anonymous. Narcotics Anonymous should remain forever non-professional, but our service centers more may employ special workers. Like myself, I'm an addictions counselor. So, and that gives me the ability to be able to understand things a little better. Nine, NA as such, no, never endorse. Ought never be organized. But we may create service boards or committees directly responsible to those they serve. You won't really get into these until you get into area and region. I don't suggest you get into that until you have a little bit of clean time and at least you've done your steps and worked through the traditions yourself. You know? Tradition 10. Narcotics Anonymous has no opinion on outside issues. Hence, the NI name ought never be drawn into public controversy. See, I jumped ahead of myself there. See, I was thinking of uh, Tradition 10. You know, again, old timers. So, you know, um, I'm a little bit old, so that's okay. But I'm a little bit wise. You see on my head? You see the ball spot right here? Well, that's because my brain continues to grow, but my hair stopped growing at the age of probably 20. So, Tradition 11. Our public relations policy is based on attraction rather than promotion. We need always maintain personal anonymity at the level of press, radio, and films. In other words, if you want to go on national TV and say you're part of Narcotics Anonymous or Alcoholics Anonymous, that's up to you. But you can't bring anybody's name into it because that goes with Tradition 12, which is anonymity is the spiritual foundation of all our traditions, ever reminding the, us to place principles before personalities. And if you're anything like I am, and as my sponsee and I talk today, Sometimes in rooms, it's really hard to separate that personalities from principle. But I look at it this way. Um, if I have a negative room, I'm not in that place long because negativity breeds negativity. If I put garbage in my head, what's going to come out of my mouth? Putrid, garbage, foulness, vomit. Who wants to listen to that crap? Seriously. 
nobody wants to listen to your whining, growling, chewing, and complaining, and telling how bad it is. Who cares? You know, life is too short to look at yesterday. It's too short to worry about tomorrow. You only have 24 hours to live in a day, so what the heck are you worrying about, you know, months away for? I guess it's okay to make plans, but it's not okay to plan the outcome. You can't do that. That's grandiose thinking, and that is not cool. That's my wrap. I hope I helped, and uh, may God bless you.